Hola amigos, welcome back. We're in the Dominican Republic and um, I'm going to be doing a little beach walk today, bringing you guys along. Hope you enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please, please hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you don't miss any more content. Also hit the like button and leave any comments down below. With that out of the way, let's turn the camera around and start this walk. So here we are on Bevaro Beach. We're going to make our way from this end all the way down there. And we're going to be taking in all the sights of Bavaro Beach. So we're staying at the Bavaro Princess Hotel, Grand Bavaro Princess Resort, all inclusive. But we've just uh, come out of our resort, turned right to the end of the beach, and we're going to walk along the coastline. I've got my feet in the water. Beautiful, beautiful day today. Lovely blue skies. A couple of clouds in the sky, as you can see there. But um, yeah, everybody's enjoying themselves. Got some boats out there in the sea. We're going to be going past some music, so I might have to mute that at some point, but hopefully not. And um, yeah, let's uh, enjoy this lovely, beautiful sunshine. So at the end of the beach, there's a lot of independent sort of bars and shops, little markets that you can go and see. Um, I might get a few people running out of the shop as we go past, trying to get me to go in and see what they've got to offer. But um, I've already done that on a previous day. So I'll just be polite and say no. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take in this beautiful, beautiful view Lots and lots of people enjoying the day today. It's about 11.30, I think, in the daytime, so very, very hot. Uh, make sure you use sunscreen. There's quite a breeze as well, so you can quite easily get burnt if you don't. Be careful. All these boats are available for sort of excursions and things. So if you're coming on holiday to the Dominican Republic, make sure you do a couple of excursions, get out of the resort and see what the island has to offer. Over to our left here, there's some sort of shops and little bars, souvenir shops. Most of it's tapped, as you can probably imagine, but it's good, you can get some fridge magnets, bracelets, that sort of stuff, hats. But uh, yeah, we're just going to make our way along this beautiful coastline. A little Captain Cook bar over to our left there. really nice um, having my feet in the water while I do this walk. It was my daughter's wedding yesterday. It was uh, quite a late one. Feeling quite tired and fragile today so I just have a chilled out walk along the beach. So as you can see on our left here, we've got a few souvenir shops. All the locals selling their wares. Quite funny. They try and pull you into the shop and um, you walk out the shop and the next guy's trying to pull you into his shop. So but yeah, you can get some good uh, souvenirs here take back home with you. I bought myself a hat because it did get really hot one day and um, I could feel my head burning. But this is the last little souvenir shop and you can see down 
that little passageway there. There's a lot more shops on the road. Everyone's very friendly. Looks a bit, looks a bit run down. But um, yeah, they're all just trying to make a living. Right, that's all the shops out the way. We're back to the uh, all-inclusive resorts now. So we'll make our way along this beach where there's lots of people enjoying themselves. I think my wife's going to try and drag me out and do some of those uh, parasailing, paragliding things in the water that's in front of us. I don't know whether you can make that out, the yellow one. I think we're going to be doing that this afternoon. I'm not too sure on that, to be honest with you, but we'll give it a go, I'm sure. Yeah, so all of these all-inclusive resorts are on the Bavaro beach. and It's a public beach, so anybody can walk along it. All these lounges do belong to the hotel, so only people with their wristbands can use them. Look at this amazing view here. Over to our left, looks like there are some massages going on in a little hut. I'm not sure how long the uh, resorts have been on this beach. Uh, we were here five years ago in the Bavaro Princess. Um, and I do remember all of these here at that time. But there is a bit of construction going on past um, my resort, Bavaro Princess. And we'll, uh, we'll look at that in a moment when we get there. So I think they're building a new resort. I think they've actually knocked down an old one, but we'll have a look when we get closer. little uh, speedboat there. Bit of cloud in the distance but at the moment we've got palm trees, blue skies. It looks amazing. I did do a sunrise beach walk the other morning, very early in the morning. Um, so please go check out that video if you haven't already. Waves look a bit choppy today. Um, but the, yeah, I've been in the water. And it's, once you get past the breaks, it's amazing. Lovely and warm water. We've got uh, a couple of excursions, but uh, especially we got on Monday, I think it is, uh, Siona Island, where we'll be spending the whole day out of the resort. They pick us up outside the resort and we'll be 
going on a boat, do some snorkeling, see some starfish in some sandbanks, make our way to Seona Island for lunch and drinks, and then they bring us back in the evening. So I'm quite looking forward to that. I'll be uh, doing some videos on that, so please subscribe so you don't miss that. Did quite a lot of dancing last night, so my feet are a bit sore, so having them in the water here, quite soothing. Great place to bring your families. Kids are loving it here. So there's a group of 31 of us and um, some of them were quite young. They've been really, really enjoying the resort and the beach. It's really safe. The sea's not very deep. So they can just play, build some sand castles. get a lot of um, beach vendors, or as uh, we call them looky looky men. They come along with their wares and try and get you to have a look at them and buy some. If you're, if you're not interested, just be polite. They will go away, they won't hassle you too much. Um, you also get a lot of people trying to sell you excursions, which, to be honest with you, five years ago, <coughs> Excuse me, I was a bit wary of, of booking an excursion from a guy off the beach, but we've done quite a few of them now, and they've always been amazing. So um, they're a lot cheaper than the uh, your tour reps are going to sell you. Um, for instance, the Sayona Island trip we're doing, I think our travel company was going to charge us something ridiculous like $150 each, and we're doing it for $65. So. You can get a really good deal if you shop around a bit. Most resorts have a little area where you can hire kayaks or these uh, banana boats. Kayaks are usually free, but uh, banana boats, etc., will be a bit more. And there's that paragliding, parasailing. It is parasailing, isn't it? Not paragliding. Parasailing, which uh, I'm not great with heights, so I wouldn't say I was looking forward to this afternoon, but I'll try it and uh, maybe I'll do a video on it. It does look fun, but um, yeah, I'm not sure about the heights. Beautiful, beautiful blue skies, palm trees. After this walk, I will be grabbing a well-deserved beer at one of the bars in our resort. Sorry, I just got caught by a wave there. Came in quite, quite far. make my way up the beach a little bit, just my feet. I 
think I may actually, um, after the power of sailing, hit the pool and chill out with a drink or two this afternoon. As I said, all the resorts have got these sun loungers outside for their guests to use. A lot of people come down and get their towels on them as early as possible, but we, we've never done that and there's always been plenty to go around, so I won't worry too much about reserving sun loungers. Not on the beach anyway, if you were by the pool and you wanted a specific specific spot then maybe but um, no on the beach you can just move them around to where you want them Also these guys, they've got parrots or iguanas and you can get your photographs taken with them on your shoulders and it's only about five, ten dollars. be coming up to some music now I think from one of the resorts hopefully it's a, a track I won't have to mute if you've never been to the Dominican Republic or the Caribbean. This island is probably one of the most um, most value for money maybe, uh, best way to put it. You can get some really good deals. Some of the other islands are a lot more expensive. We're in Aruba last year, that was probably two to three times more expensive than here, but still we had a great time. So we're here for two weeks, we've had a, a week already, it's, um, I think we've got five days left, caught quite a lot of sun, you really do um, get quite tired in the evening because spending the day on the beach or by the pool in the sun can be quite tiring, exhausting. So make sure to drink plenty of water, keep your body hydrated, you should be fine. 
The food at the resort's been really, really good. We've got uh, a couple of buffet restaurants. I think there's seven a la carte restaurants. Um, I think we're off to the steakhouse tonight and the Italian restaurant tomorrow. That sea looks so inviting. I may even drink my beer while I'm waist deep in the sea. Sand is uh, all the way into the sea, so there's no rocks, so there's no shells or anything to walk over. It's all pure sand. You could wear water shoes if you're a bit worried about maybe sea urchins, but I've never known anybody that's trod on the sea urchin on this beach. We've never had a problem. We wore uh, water shoes in Aruba. Some of it was a bit rocky and shelly. But, um, here, I've not used them, so up to you guys. So these people here are really enjoying the time in the sea. It's so warm, so refreshing. I'm really not looking forward to going home. I hear from family members that it's absolutely freezing back in the UK. Today, it's about 31 degrees. We are the 24th of November, so end of the end of November. It does get a bit hotter over the Christmas period. We were here five years ago. We, we were, I think, um, I think it was Christmas Eve we flew home and uh, landed at Christmas Day in the UK. And it was a great place to come at Christmas time. There's some guy on our left as the masterpiece of the sand castle there. Quite amazing, quite impressive. It's quite a poor country, the Dominican Republic. The dollar goes a long way, so if you've had good service, give them a dollar or two at the bar or restaurants, you don't have to, it's an all-inclusive resort, but they do really appreciate it. Some more children building uh, sand castles in front of us. You might be able to see some of the seaweed on the sand. Some of the resorts, including the Bavaria Princess where I'm staying, do have a, like, uh, a tractor with a plough and it comes and cleans up all of the seaweed every morning. Some, resor some resorts don't do that, so you might find a bit of seaweed outside those. But, um, you might see the difference in a moment when we hit one of the resorts that do clean the beach. But look at this beautiful, beautiful view of the sand and sea and blue skies. I'm going to make my way back to the water. My feet are a bit sore. If you're thinking of getting married in the Dominican Republic, if it was anything like my daughter's wedding yesterday, it was absolutely perfect. We had a perfect day. Everything went smoothly. Everyone had an amazing time. Great to have so many people, 31 of us here for the wedding. My daughter looked 
absolutely beautiful. And the staff were really, really good. They made sure that um, everyone was fed and had drinks in their hands. So to my left now is the Bavaro Princess, the start of it, is where I'm staying. The sun's in the sky there, so it may be a bit dark, but this is where we're staying. A little bit of seaweed there, but uh, they did come down this morning. I saw them on their little tractor and gave it a little plow. But yeah, this is the Bavaro Princess, and in front of us there is a little white area, which was where our wedding reception was. And she actually got married on the beach here in that little brown, um, I don't know what the name of it, gazebo type thing. But it was all decorated lovely and um, with ribbons and flowers, it was amazing. But yeah, that, uh, that little bar turned into our private reception area last night. We had a great time partying on the beach. I'm feeling a bit now, but it was so worth it. Our resort has lots of these um, umbrellas, we would call them in the UK, these straw umbrellas for shade. And all of the lounges, as I said, you can just move around the resort wherever you want to, outside, onto the sand. I can actually see the lounges that we've reserved before I started this walk. The people playing bat and ball. If you get bored, there's plenty of things to do. Our resort has some entertainment as well on the beach and around the pool area all day, so that's good. These uh, five lounges here are mine. My flip-flops are there. That's where I'll be heading back to in a little while. Some football nets. The kids love that, playing football on the beach. I don't know how we've ended up so far away from the water, but we'll make our way back to the, the water, get my feet soothed. So yeah, great for weddings, great for honeymoons, family holidays, you really couldn't ask for more here, beautiful island. People are very friendly, Spanish speaking, there is the Dominican pesos and the US dollar. I wouldn't really worry about the Dominican pesos, everybody takes the dollars, even the uh, little gift shops that we saw at the beginning of the walk. So yeah, cannot wait to get into this water.
So, as I said, this is the Devaro Princess where I'm staying. And next door to it, we're coming up to the uh, area where there used to be a resort, but now seems to be demolished and I think there's some construction going on. We'll take a look at that in a moment. a lot of uh, Spanish-speaking people, um, holidaymakers here, guests, so I can only assume they're coming from maybe um, South America, those sort of areas. And what a view that is, look. We're going to be making our way all the way around there. Well, as far as the sand will let me walk in bare feet. So we're going to just go up to the left a bit here. You can see there's a lifeguard station all very run down. It's very rusty. So I'm not sure what the resort was that was here some years ago. Yeah, as you can see, that's all all a bit derelict now. Just be a bit careful where I'm walking here because it's has some trash on the floor. I don't want to try on anything sharp. There's another area here where it's all run down. All quite peaceful actually when you come away from the sea. You've got the sound of the waves. We'll just have a peek through this fence and see what they're up to. So, yeah, I think they're, it's all flattened out now. There's a lot of stones in front of me. I don't know if I'll be able to go straight in there, but you can probably see from here, it's all a bit derelict and hopefully there'll be a brand new resort going up. So above us there, some lovely coconut trees. A beautiful blue sky, look. In a week's time when I'm back at work, I can watch my videos. And remember this amazing time that we've had here. So I'm gonna keep walking back towards the water now because after this area, there are more resorts. Just being a bit careful with my footing. Obviously, there's no resort here, so nobody will be cleaning the sand. And I'll just make my way as carefully as I can back to the the surf. Lots of rubbish, lots of plastic bottles. Hopefully they don't make their way into the ocean. To our right is where we've come from. So we keep walking this way to our left. along this beautiful coastline.
I don't quite know what that man was doing. It's a bit quieter down this end. We're still on the area where the resort has been abandoned almost. We keep heading down here. As you can see, it's been nothing but pure sand the whole way of this walk. It's absolutely beautiful. We're in Aruba last year and uh, Eagle Beach in particular was just like this. It was just pure sand for miles. If you haven't seen any of my Aruba content, please go check it out. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you really do enjoy the videos, consider hitting the super thanks button. It would really help us out. These videos do take a lot of time and effort to put together, so it would be appreciated. Although there's a lot of Spanish people here on holiday, vacation, there's also a lot of people from all over the world. We've had Canadians, Americans, people from the UK, Italy, Switzerland. I've met some guys in Switzerland. So, yeah, it's a very popular destination. Now, as you can see, we're coming up to another resort to our left, so the beach will be looking cleaner and be a few more people about. I think one of these resorts here, actually, that's coming up is a sister resort to the Bavaro Princess. I'm not too sure if you can actually get a drink there for free because it's all inclusive and uh, a sister resort in Aruba. We did have access to two resorts that we could use. I'm not sure if that's the case here. People getting some selfies. A beautiful background. Here we are, there's a, it's where the resorts start up again. So. See this girl here's got like a, a travel mug. The resorts give you uh, a little plastic cup that's recyclable. But it's only a very small cup really. So the bar the bartenders don't mind if you want to bring your own travel mug and they just fill that up. You'll find it keeps it a lot cooler for longer and you get more drink which means you don't have to keep going up to the bar as often.
again, there's some go post, go post there, so people playing football. But we continue along beautiful shoreline. I must admit I'm more of a pool person than a beach person, but I do love walking along the beaches. I just get a bit bored sitting on a lounger for too long. The sea's getting a bit deeper there, so a lot of people enjoying the water. Doesn't look like we've got too far to walk now, and then I can make my way back to the resort and get a well deserved cold beer. These resorts actually look really beautiful, very quiet. Maybe if you prefer a bit of a quieter vacation, one of these resorts would be ideal for you. I don't know the names of them, sorry, forgive me. Just go on to Google Maps, hit Bavaro Beach, and you can have a look at all the resorts dotted along the coastline. Yeah, these ones look really nice. You almost have a private beach outside there. And nobody in the, in the water. Paradise. I'm not sure actually if I can make it around that corner in front of us. It looks like I might be able to. I'll keep going, see how far we can go. Quite a colourful resort to our left. A couple of gift shops. Oh, it's very hot today. I am wearing sunscreen. I have got a shirt on my back, so I'm not going to be burnt. This resort seems a bit busier. A few more people in the water there. Although if I were them, I would have just made my way around just down the 
beat a little bit and have the water to yourself. I've never been down this uh, this far before, so we're viewing this for the first time together. But this is absolutely beautiful. These palm trees in front of us. And it does look like I can actually carry on walking for a little while, which is great. Yeah, this is quite a nice looking resort. Not sure what it is. It looks like I will be getting a little wet if I'm going to try and make my way around that little corner there. But how beautiful is that? So I think we're going to get lucky and not get too wet as we make our way around this little corner. I'll just get a little bit on my feet. But we made it. We'll take a quick look around the next corner and see how far this beach goes on for. This is absolutely stunning round here. I think I'll uh, grab my wife on one of the days we've got left and we'll come for a walk. Looks like the uh, water is a bit deeper on the next corner, so I'm not sure how far I can go. And how's that for a beautiful vacation?
beautiful boats just floating around. This looks a bit deeper, so I think I'm going to end the walk here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave any comments down below. And if you're really feeling generous, please hit that super thanks button. I'm going to make my way back to the Bavaro Princess and get that well-deserved cold beer. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.